Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial from Crystal Touch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make touchpad scrolling feature work on any Acer laptop. It's quite easy, just follow with me. So, by default, when installing a fresh copy of Windows, it provides by default a, a driver to the touchpad to make it work. We can see that by going to computer right click on then properties then uh, device manager if we go to um, mouse we can see that this is the uh, default driver provided by windows it it does make the touchpad work but the scrolling feature doesn't work uh, the other driver is the separated mouse that i'm currently using anyway this default uh, driver uh, doesn't support the scrolling feature of the touchpad so if you're using this default driver you would probably if you want to scroll down you have to go to the side and move uh, down up and down each time so we're going to install a new driver that is compatible with uh, with a SER laptop from the official uh, website of a SER. So we're going to uh, open the browser, then from Google uh, Acer drivers, then the first website that appears, it's the official website of Acer. Now um, to enter your uh, computer or laptop information, you'll find them at the, a sticker that is on the right side of the touchpad normally on any computer on any laptop of Acer um, you'll choose notebook that means uh, a laptop then I'm going to choose my uh, my version which is Aspire then Aspire E1 571 which is this no uh, E1 571 this is it then choose the operating system I'm currently using Windows 8.1 uh, 64-bit these are the drivers all the drivers that you would you would need with that laptop so we're currently uh, gonna install this uh, driver I recommend this synaptic uh, synaptic uh, touchpad driver it's better than these two I've used these two but it doesn't uh, solve the problem of scrolling we're gonna click download and um, we'll be back after the download is complete alright guys the download is complete it's a zip file after we unzip it we enter the folder then we choose the 64 bit then we search for um, the sub file double click and we install it as any uh, normal uh, software I accept the next it will take a while so I'll be back after the installation is complete alright guys the installation uh, or setup is complete we click finish it will ask to restart the computer so I'll stop the recording now and restart the computer then we'll be back to uh, do some settings to make scrolling work Alright guys, I've restarted uh, my computer, uh, the, the driver is installed, uh, we can check that by going to uh, computer, then properties, device manager, then to the mouse, you'll find that it's now the Synaptics uh, driver uh, of the touchpad. Uh, if we go to the system tray, you'll find this icon, uh, this icon here when right click on it or right click on it then put in device properties and choose uh, device settings tab then click on settings you'll see these uh, settings that we want to uh, apply one of them is uh, scrolling you'll just select scrolling then click on uh, settings and enable uh, vertical scrolling you can also enable uh, horizontal scrolling which is this one, but I recommend to use this vertical scrolling. It's just what what we need. So uh, we close it, 
then there are uh, other things such as uh, rotating which works on the windows photo viewer there are uh, other uh, features but uh, the main reason that we are here is uh, because of scrolling we click on apply then ok we close this and uh, open explore, win explore windows explorer then uh, so as we can see the touchpad scrolling feature is working just fine if we can go to uh, a website or a browser uh, the scrolling is working just fine um, I'm using the touchpad right now not my separated uh, mouse so yeah that's how you fix that problem uh, it works with all the all us uh, laptops all right that was all it for today guys if you have any questions please post them down below this video like uh, share or uh, subscribe to our channel otherwise thanks for watching goodbye